In this video, I'll talk about the cost, the advantages and the time frame of obtaining a SYNC Kids and Nevis passport. I'll also take you through the step-by-step -step procedure of obtaining your second citizenship. We'll cover the most important part first, which is the cost of a St. Kitts and Nevis passport. The cost depends on which of the three citizenship by investment options you choose. The first one is a non-refundable donation to the Sustainable Growth Fund. The St. Kitts and Nevis authorities have a special proposition that became effective as of April 2, 2018. A single applicant will have to pay close to $158,000 for their passport, while passports for a family of up to four members will cost about $212,000. This cost includes all the government fees but does not include our company's service fees. The second option is to invest in the Sugar Industry Diversification Foundation. One applicant's passport, all government fees included, will cost around $258,000 and $317,000 for a family up to four. Our service fees are not included in this amount. The third option is investing in real estate. Three things to understand here. 1. The minimum investment starts at $200,000. 2. The applicants are expected to invest into government-approved real estate projects to qualify for the Citizenship by Investment program. And 3. The investor may resell the real estate objects five years after obtaining the passport and keep the citizenship. The passport in this case will cost around $243,000 for a single applicant, government fees included, and around $293,000 for a family up to four members. Our company service fees are not included in the cost. You may choose one of the three options we just went through, but it is not possible to combine them. Please note that the full cost of the investment option depends on the number of family members you intend to include in your application, as well as their age. To calculate the exact cost, please use our cost calculator. You may do that by clicking the link above or by following the link in the description. The St. Kitts and Nevis Economic Citizenship Program is one of the world's oldest and has been functioning since 1984. Within the last 10 years, over 11,000 passports have been issued for citizens from 127 countries of the world. What does a St. Kitts and Nevis passport have to offer? 1. The St. Kitts and Nevis passport is your visa-free entrance into over 125 countries, including the Schengen Area countries, the UK, South Korea, Hong Kong, virtually all South American countries, among others. St. Kitts and Nevis passport holders are allowed to stay in Europe up to 90 days within a six-month period and up to 180 days per year in the UK. 2. The St. Kitts and Nevis passport means no world income or inheritance tax. 3. It is possible to obtain the passport in a remote mode. The citizenship is processed exclusively through a licensed, government-approved agent. 4. St. Kitts and Nevis officially recognizes double citizenship. All the information is strictly confidential and is not disclosed to third parties. 5. This is an opportunity to obtain long-term visas to the US and Canada. 6. The full sum is transferred only after the government approves the application. The transaction is fully transparent. 7. Together with the main applicant, their spouse, children under 30 years of age and parents aged 55 and above may also apply. The children born after the parents obtain their citizenships become St. Kitts and Nevis citizens free of charge. 8. The citizenship is issued for a lifetime. There are no requirements for knowing the language or staying in the country. The passports are valid for 10 years for adults and 5 years for children. It takes about a week to renew it and it is not necessary to come to the country for that. Up next are steps of applying for the citizenship. The first step is a preliminary check and signing the contract. The second step is case preparation. After this, the investment contract or the contract with the owner of the real estate is signed. The due diligence check is paid for by the applicant. This takes up to two weeks. The third step is to submit the documents to the Citizenship by Investment Agency. 
The fourth step is waiting for the government's approval. The government commission reviews the documents within two to four months. The fifth step is receiving the certificate of neutralization and waiting for your agent to receive the passport on your behalf after the commission approves your application. The whole process takes three to five months. Learn more by watching this video about a real case of obtaining a second citizenship. Finally, a couple of facts on about St. Kitts and Nevis. It is possible to reach the island by air and by sea. There are two international airports, the Robert L. Bradshaw International Airport on the island of St. Kitts and the Newcastle Airport on Nevis. These airports welcome flights from the US, Canada and the UK. As for neighboring Caribbean islands, it is possible to get there by charter flights. The two principal harbors, Charlestown and Basseterre, are hosting cruise ships and small yachts. Just recently, the Christophe Harbor Marina was opened on St. Kitts. Within the last five years, the number of people visiting St. Kitts and Nevis has increased by 13.4% just in the first six months of 2017, close to 700,000 people visited this country. It is worth mentioning that the number of US and Canada tourists has noticeably increased lately. Download our presentation and find answers to 15 frequently asked questions as well as all the details on processing the citizenship. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel, find all the useful links in the description section below, like this video and ask your questions in the comment section.